This is the Medside Plus from Wrong Electronics. Medside processing is a studio technique which separates a stereo signal into a mid signal with all the centered information shared by the left and right channel and a side channel consisting of the stereo differences such as your panning and uh, ping pong delay and that kind of thing. And so this allows us to process stereo information in a much more focused way. And the first patch example in the manual is a setup for processing a full stereo mix. And to demonstrate this, I have a melody coming out of rings here, going into the instro carn with the odd and even outputs panned hard left and hard right. I have a sub bass coming from the MCO, which is going into the parallax for some filtering. And off to the left here, I have the drum brute impact. So all of this audio information is going into the instro carn, and I have a stereo output going into the left and right input on the mid side plus. And the left and right output here is going to my audio interface. And the manual suggests sending the, the mid channel, the centered channel, to a compressor to add some sort of glue and movement to the mix. So I have the MFX over here. So let's take the, the mid send to the input and the output to the return. does add a little bit of oomph and a bit of glue. And next it suggests sending the side channel to a, a drive or a saturation to add a little bit of sort of sparkle to the stereo width. So I have the rabbit hole here. And I'm going to bring up the dry wet mix here. The mix already sounds a lot livelier and we can adjust the stereo width here with the width control to hear more of that centered sound or more of the left and right. And you can really experiment with this type of, of processing. So another example is instead of having the saturation on the width control, we could send it out to a reverb. And this is gonna process only the panned information, which means it leaves the drums and the bass completely unaffected. <laughs> and we can modulate this width control. Really cool. And this one, I'm adding a kind of bit reduction to just the stereo channel. My personal favourite is the rabbit hole patch just because it does sound so crisp.
in this patch I'm using the Midside Plus to create a stereo ring mod effect. And there's so many different ways that you can explore this. The way I've got it patched up is I've got this drone coming out of rings and it's going into the intro carn in mono and then into the input of the Midside Plus. And that is my sort of main sound source. And the MCO here is the modulator, which is going into the parallax for some filter attenuation. And it is modulating the width control. We have the width attenuator here. And I'm also modulating the pitch of the MCO. There's a, a sine wave going into the Volper Octave. Just so it can uh, move up and down like that in the classic ring mod way. <laughs> yeah. And a bit of resonance on the filter there can make it go quite crazy and fun. patch is also from the manual and it's called Faux Stereo and we're using the Midside Plus to take a simple mono sound source and create a nice stereo sound. In this example here I'm using Rings and the MCO as my sound source. Both of them are playing the same sequence and going mono into the Instro Carn and from there mono output into the left input with the stereo output going to my audio interface. And I'm using PAMS just off screen here to modulate the width control. And we can change the speed of that. Going up into the audio rate creates a really nice effect. The manual also suggests send using the side signal and sending that to a phaser or a delay. So I have it here going to a delay on the effects aid. If we 
we go down to a, a slower modulation rate of the width, you can really hear that fading in. I'm a massive fan of this, um, it's kind of a, a sound designer's dream. If you would like to know more about the Midside Plus, then I'll leave a link to the Wrong Electronics website in the description. Or alternatively, you could head on over to signalsounds.com. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all again soon.